so we are in front of our calving facility at RK Farms in Pine Bluffs, Wyoming, which is just right on the Nebraska Wyoming border on I-80. Uh, I like to say that it should be K and R, but it's, it's Ray and Kathy. Well, we're branding our second set of calves so we can get them out to pasture. They said they were gonna brand 270-ish. And Ray is out here and our son is um, right by his side. Travis has been involved since he was this big. Our primary crop is uh, dryland wheat, but we grow corn on a pretty large scale. Uh, pretty much if it grows in this area, we've, we've tried it. If it's out there and technology is available, we're pretty uh, progressive on that front. We, we use all of the technology available. When we're, we're planting corn, we'll run three different prescriptions, a two by two prescription, an infro prescription, and a seeding rate prescription. So it gets pretty, pretty complex in a hurry. Operation center is a huge deal. Chad, our mechanic, our technician, able to use the remote display access. In my opinion, for me, Op Center has probably been the best thing that's come out that I utilize probably the most. We're spread out over, you know, probably 30 miles in every direction. It used to be whenever anything broke down, I'd go chase a tractor for something simple. Now with everything showing up on my cell phone, it's so much easier. I can remote display access, walk the guys through setting stuff up. That's really helped us out to keep everything going all day long instead of shutting down for an hour, for waiting for me to get out there to say, okay, well, what's this code? Now I can look at it on my phone. So just keep going. I'll take care of it tonight when we're done for the evenings. And then he's able to monitor all the machines, you know, if there's trouble codes or whatever, he can do that remotely. And I really like the fact of being able to check your fuel, your def, you know, see what they ran for the day, you know, and see which tractors are running efficient and which guys are doing what. So I kind of keep track of all that. I used to have to write everything down on the calendar. I mean, from the variety of wheat that we were planting to when we were planting to where we were planting, and now all that's recorded. And so that has helped tremendously. It's all pretty seamless. The p paper and pencil has kind of went by the wayside. Last year, I finally got our turn automation working on our two planters. And that was probably the coolest thing that I've done in quite a while. And that freed up so much of my time to sit in the tractor and still not even have to worry about turning around on the end. I was able to keep everybody else running during the day while I was still planting corn myself. And I think that helped out a bunch. You know, it's if usually if it's out there, we'll adapt it because it's as long as there's a return on investment, we'll look into it. As margins get smaller, you're going to have to, you know, the see and spray technology. We haven't adapted it yet, but I think it's probably down the road when we do update sprayers, we'll probably get into something like that. But as far as 21st century, just they're very progressive and, you know, kind of aligned with our operation. John Deere is great support system. We can call them 24 seven. I know Travis and Chad can both pick up the phone and and get answers to any questions any time of day or night. We have known Brian 40 years. He's not just our John Deere representative, he's a friend. He's been out here with our cattle, he's been here on the weekends. He's just one of us. <laughs> Brian's, you know, he goes above and beyond. I mean, he'll take off personal time and run after parts if we have to. Well, I think it's a, it's a partnership. You know, everything you can do to help them helps you. Ray asked me, he came down to our uh, expo and he wanted to know what I was doing Friday and I said not much and he said, well come up and help Brands. <laughs> Aren't they done yet? No. <laughs> well, you know, we went to you guys' expo and we were, you know, they talked about building the, the groundwork for moving towards autonomy. We're in steps to make it happen. I definitely see it see it happening. I don't know if it's like the whole operation is gonna be totally autonomous, but I can definitely see, you know where one guy is maybe doing a tillage operation and there's two other tractors in the same field autonomously and he's kind of you know monitoring all the three. But yeah, I think that's definitely the future. I mean, if you're not moving forward, you're not progressing. And you know, Ray and I would like to slow down a little bit and Travis is starting to take more and more control of what, what's going on. I see it just progressing and getting bigger and better.